on guys Jay back with you today today I have a little bit of a different video we're not gonna be talking about some random topic I'm bringing you guys a top five list now this top five is kind of a long title but it's kind of the only way I can really get to tell you guys what it is so it's a top five things people that go to hockey games should know now I'm not talking about the guys that go to every single game or majority of the games I'm talking about the people that very rarely go and don't go a lot so before I get into the top five, I just want to explain something. I know some of these are uncontrollable, but they're annoying, and I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on them. So jumping right into number five, we have everything is overpriced. Now, mainly I'm talking about food, drinks, and all the snacks you can get. So your popcorns, your pretzels, your your nachos the whatever else comes with it all your you know beverage drinks your alcoholic beverage drinks all that stuff is way overpriced now you could buy a case of water for like what four bucks or something yet they're selling a single thing of water for like three and a half dollars four dollars so you you could buy a case of water for almost more than one bottle of water at these games now I know that they have to make money somehow and you know you want a good profit from it but even if you charge one dollar for a case of 24 like with a 24 case of bottled water you charge a dollar each that's 24 dollars now if you do basic math here you get a lot of money back now not like a crap ton like you're expecting but you still get a ton of money so coming at number four be respectful to other people now this is kind of a one of those unwritten rules basically all over the world in every situation possible but at hockey games or any sporting event for that matter it gets a little ridiculous now what I'm talking about mainly is just for instance when you're sitting next to somebody and maybe maybe you're a bigger person you're a little bit bigger than normal people at least like close your legs if you're a guy now this is kind of a hard thing to do when you're a bigger person and when you're you know obviously you don't you want to be comfortable but when you're sitting around other people and those people want their own space too and especially if you don't know them then you need to give them their space now also things is at the games they announce rules like you know don't get up while the play is going you know don't you can't sit down while the play is going all that other good stuff but don't get up and down a million times to throw away like a napkin or something like if you get a pretzel, you don't need to get up that second. You can wait to the intermission. Put it underneath your seat and grab it later. Also, pick up your damn garbage. This is the, one of the more annoying things I find about hockey games. Now, there's garbage cans everywhere. But people still leave all of their garbage, all of their drinks, their wrappers, their you know plates, all everything all over the place. <laughs> So coming in at number three, they do play more than one game a year. Now this is kind of, you know, self-explained in the actual title, but what I mean is even if it's your first hockey game, everyone at least knows about hockey or at least knows hockey exists, right? But when you go to a game and you even try to go get your seats, now I understand if you've never been there before, but if you walk in and there's no one to help you, I mean there is but if there was no one to help you how would you survive finding your seat well in most arenas or most you know stadiums or anything else you want to call it there is little signs hanging from doorways or close to outside of where you're about to sit of what section you're in now I'm completely you know fine with helping people like I don't mind doing that but when you're literally one section over from where you need to be all you have to do is look around a little tiny bit and you can find your way now also when you go to a hockey game and it's your first game congratulations you finally got into a good sport but when you do that and you have absolutely no clue what you're talking about 
then it don't start talking to me and be like, hey, you know, they're doing great this year when we're almost last in the league or we're doing bad or we just lost last game or, you know, something dumb like that. But I understand, you know, they don't come to normal games. <laughs> wow, we're already at number two. Now, this is probably my favorite one and probably could be number one, but it's not. It is number two on this list. So, sh we're going to be talking about shooting really quick, and you can't shoot every second. Now, I know this is hard for new you know, fans to understand, but every time you touch the puck, you don't have to shoot it. Now, what they don't realize is the game's coming, you know, the hockey game, the, every part of hockey is coming into a lot faster and, you know, more skilled of a sport. So, defenders and goalies are going to be tracking you, and you're, they're going to be on you almost every single second. But they don't know that because they don't watch a lot of games, right? But when you're just saying, let's go to the power play real quick. Now, what's the most common power play strategy in the world? It's the cross crease one timer slash one timer from basically the one of those circles. Now, if you know anything about hockey, you know where the circles are. At least I hope so. So usually you shoot from somewhere like that. Occasionally, obviously, you have a different goal that goes in from somewhere else. But in this case, we're going to be talking about the power play and passing more than shooting. Now, passing is obviously a key you know, thing in any sport, whether hockey, and also finding a good shot. Now, this isn't some video game where you can throw a million shots in the net and you get five goals. Now, these guys are all you know, playing in a professional sport to where people they're playing against are usually about as good as you are. So they're going to know what you're about to do and they can predict it pretty well. Now they play to the coach's structures, the systems and everything like that, but you can't just shoot every second. So coming in at number one, now like I said at number two, either of these could be number one or two. I just kind of put them in the order that I thought. Uh, would be best for the video so number one if you don't know a lot about hockey if you don't come a lot shut your mouth now this may sound a little rude a little you know not normal to a, a top five or what you probably should be saying but it needs to be said now when you're in the stands and you have a kid or something that plays hockey or is on a hockey team or does anything with hockey or follows it or follows them on Twitter or then just you know reads the score off to you after they lose or win or whatever now I'm not talking about these guys I'm talking about the guys that literally sit in the stands and try to coach every second of the game so you know they're standing behind you oh pass the puck here you need to curl that way you know get a ball on the boards open up move your feet that type of thing you know what I'm talking about if you've ever been to a game you know what I'm talking about now you know when you go to a baseball game everyone says hit the ball well duh you obviously need to do that but in hockey when you literally sit in the stands and try to coach and you have no clue what the hell you're talking about that's why you're in the stands and not standing behind the bench as a coach now obviously do I do I approve of every single play a hockey team makes no do I like everything that happens no do I like every call this you know the refs make no but I understand what's going on now I may not like a penalty we get but if I understand it's a you know a good penalty and it should have been called then I'm like okay that you know that's a good penalty good call by the ref do I want it to happen no am I gonna boo the ref probably but it doesn't matter as long as you understand what's going on and not be like well why they get a penalty well you just absolutely tripped him you know like it was a blatant call like how would you not know that I'm not talking about those blatant calls that you just don't like but it's gonna happen anyway because you understand it I'm talking about the people that don't understand what's going on but literally sit there and try to act like they do now I'm not the biggest hockey fan I know that I'm not the worst hockey fan but I know enough about hockey to where I can understand what's going on and you know understand it like I don't know how else to put it so that's been it for the top five guys if you guys did enjoy please leave a like comment to what you guys think of the top five should have been rearranged uh, is there anything I missed let me know down in the comment section below and uh, you know subscribe for more anyway guys I'll see you later I don't care if